Today's video is going to show you some simple thing that I did that made all the difference with a recent charter. Watch this. try the lure because I'm seeing some fish jump, so it might be cool if you can hook up on some Spanish or bluefish. And nothing's really happening on the set rigs, but we're watching. How's that feel to cast? Good. I like it. Yeah, that's the, I don't know if you've heard of Ninja Tackle, but, oh yeah, he's up in Virginia. So, uh, Matt Poole, he's, he sponsors our company. There is something big all the Keeps jumping over that way. Okay, Austin's hooked up on something here. Oh, man. Oh, it's so close. I pointed Austin down the beach here where there's a bunch more activity. We're kind of leapfrogging the lines down this way anyways, because I think it's going to be a better spot. Oh, he's got something. I saw stuff moving down there. That's a nice one. That's a good size. Yeah, I got teeth, so don't we'll put your fingers up. in his mouth. Yeah, definitely. Hey, awesome. Your Uncle Chuck would be proud. <laughs> Big old spin. You got a hook on both. Uh, he hit it as soon as it hit the water. Man. He's got 43 inches from 43 and a quarter. Nice. To the fork or? To the, to the tip here. Or oh, you okay. go to the fork. Yeah, we go to the fork here. It's got to be at least 12. I know he's 12. Oh, yeah. He's... Like 15, maybe? Oh. Yeah, somewhere right in there. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, you can throw him in the bucket. Oh, he lost it. <laughs> Man, he almost had one. I'm trying to set this other line up as a casting rod because that's the only thing we're biting on today is the Spanish. Okay, so I'm tying a loop knot on to this nine foot rod. It's just a little bit longer than the other casting rod, but it's got really light line on it. So that might be our only issue is if we get hooked up on a Spanish mackerel, it can get bit off pretty easily. But um, I'm trying to have another casting rod out here. Let's see. Let's see how this works first before I hand it off to them. I'll probably hand this off to, um, to Austin and let him work this one. Oh man, I see a bunch of fish activity. Two. I really want to catch another one myself. It's kind of selfish, right? When you're on the charger. One more cast and then I'm going to hand it off to him. Okay, that was pretty good. This might work, it might not. It's a nine foot rod, it's a more clunky. And the line's only like 15 pounds, so <laughs> that might make a difference, but you can try it. It still casts pretty good. It just, reeling it in, it's a lot more clunky. There's a lot more weight down here than, than there is with that one, but I'm sure you've used other things similar. So I'll check out the set rigs and see if we need a rebate and stuff, and you guys can see if we can hook up on some more Spanish. Tristan's on a fish. Oh, well, he got foul hooked, didn't he? Oh my gosh. Well, he Man, that's off. a nice one, yeah. yeah now you're <laughs> Can we hold that? You know how to get him off? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, you got something in you. You've been eating. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's been eating. What's he got in there? Uh, you can't see. really tell. Oh, that's yeah. kind of funny. Well, I can take the fish if you want to throw again. All right. Man, check him out. That is probably another 15 inch. Guys, we're still flipping around in here. We got, we got four in there now. Four Spanish. Nice. A little video here so we know exactly when I tossed this out, because that really helped me Friday to be able to determine some stuff that we saw. But we're catching Spanish mackerel. about as far as I'm going to be able to get that out. That wasn't too bad though. 
Well, usually I do a separate video for the underwater footage, but I'm just going to integrate it today. This first scene you're seeing here is uh, some little glass minnows. This is what the Spanish mackerel were feeding on. There's one coming into the picture. Now watch the top of the screen, and we're seeing a Spanish mackerel. Went right across the screen, slowed that down for you. So you can tell by that deeply forked tail, that's definitely a Spanish. And this is really, really cool, what we have next coming up. Look to the right of the screen. Well, in the background, we have another Spanish mackerel. And look to the right. We've got four sheep's head. So slowing that down, there's that Spanish way in the back. You can tell by the forked tail as it's going across. And here come those sheep's head. Keep looking to the right. There we got one, two, three, and the last one coming into view. Awesome. This is right down at Flagler Beach. We got sheep's head right in the surf. Pretty cool. Next up, we have two more of those. It's probably some of the same sheep's head coming right across the screen, but they came right close to the camera. That was really cool to see those sheep's head. I'm gonna have to start throwing some lures for sheep's head. There's another Spanish mackerel. Look at the top of the screen. Keep looking up there. See that deeply forked tail? We know that's a Spanish from the tail, especially. And then next we have a couple of bluefish. Look at this one. Almost came right over the top of the camera, almost hitting the camera with its tail. I thought that was really cool. That was a pretty good sized bluefish. And following up in just a couple of minutes later on the underwater footage, we had another bluefish. Could have been the same one. Usually the schools of bluefish are about the same size. They hang together. And the last thing that we saw on underwater footage today was, look at the top there, went right across. We've got one pompano. And that wraps up all of the underwater footage for this trip. I manufacture our fish and girl float rigs. We have these for sale in our store at fishing-girl.com. We make these in five different colors. We have the floats, as you can see, they are right on the hooks. In underwater footage, a lot of times they're sucking in the floats before they're sucking in the hooks in the bait. And the good thing about me manufacturing them is if they're not in stock, I will make more, fill the order, we'll get it out to you right away. So check those out, but now back to the video. Oh, we got another one. Is it a bluefish? I think you got a bluefish. That's blue awesome. Fish. Yeah, that's a good size. Can we get a picture? Awesome. Yeah, he's good. He's, I'd probably definitely keep her too. I like to eat him. So. Bluefish are really good. They are good. I know some people They're are underestimated. Like, a lot of people don't like them. Oh, yeah. And I don't know why. Kill it and gut it right away. Mm -hmm. Cut out that bloodline when you're eating it. Sweet. You want to measure him up? I'm sure he's a keeper, but just for kicks. Watch your fingers. Yeah. Uh, 13. <laughs> 13, okay. That's a keeper. <laughs> He's not happy about that. No. <laughs> okay. Throwing out a Carolina rig with a sand flea on it. I actually want this even a little closer, so I'm going to let it pull. Yeah, it's on there. Just trying to keep some tension because yep. it's a Carolina. Oh man, not off. I'm gonna get at it with the spoons and start throwing those again. I'll turn this back on if one of the guys hook up on a fish. Got another Spanish. Man, nice job. But it's a little dirty from all the fish today, but here's the zero. It says 13 and a half, I think. Oh, nice. Yeah, right okay. Right at 13 can, and a half. Yeah, you can throw them in the bucket then. Man, just reeling them in. Something in his mouth again. Yeah. Well, he, he, he gushed it out. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they do that. <laughs> wow, check that out. That one's 16. Or almost 16. To the fork? Yeah. Nice. That one's a little bit bigger. Nice. Okay, cool. Coming home too. Check these guys out. We got, we got three in there. We got three of them in there. All from uh, Tristan. Nice. Uh, he's 11 and a half. 
Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, he's not quite keeper then. What's he got to be? 12 to the fork. He's close. I mean, I'll let you take a look at it. He's yeah, he's still under. All right, I'm curious, what is it? Spanish. Oh, Spanish mackerel. Oh, yeah, yeah, Spanish mackerel. Oh, okay. We've got four Spanish and a bluefish in here, and then that's four Spanish in the. Yeah, what's that fish? Is this a bluefish? Blue fish? Oh. You can catch them on the same same spoon. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it says fishing girl. Retrieve. Yeah. Is that y'all's company? That's my company. I yeah. Love it. I'm teaching these guys today, I so love they're it. Oh, really? here visiting. They just moved their and mom down. Can, and, and what, like you came out to help them? Yeah, yeah. It's like a charter, but on the beach. So I don't, it's, I don't have a boat, oh, so yeah. Go oh, girl, me Yeah, either. surf fishing charters, yeah. Go oh, girl. Yeah. Check that one out. Hey, are they fried? Oh yeah. Nice. That's a good one. 12 and a half. There you go. Nice. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you especially enjoyed that underwater footage. It was super cool to see all those different species of fish, especially the sheep's head going across the screen. Super cool. But if I had depended on those set rigs for my charter, we wouldn't have had a good charter. <laughs> but because I was paying attention to the conditions and we shifted to throwing lures, it made all the difference those guys caught a bunch of fish. If you are interested in booking a charter with me, you can text or call 386-264-1587. Let's get out there. I'll teach you how uh, to fish from the beach. It's so much fun if you're gonna be down here on vacation in Flagler, St. John's or Volusia County, or if you are local here and you wanna pick up surf fishing as something to do. Go ahead and um, either call that number or you can check out fishin-girl.com. That's fishing without the G. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And as always, tight lines. God bless. And we'll see you. does actually work. Some of our friends in Georgia don't believe me, but it does.